I'm Sheila Bagby. I'm the head of Women and Girls Rugby at Scottish Rugby Union. Um, challenging, exciting, and this makes it more than three, making a difference. I did sport when I was younger. I, I think initially I started off wanting to be a vet. Okay. And then uh, because I loved sport so much, um, I thought it would be a logical step to maybe try to earn my living from um, sport. So I trained as a PE teacher. And then after that I went to work with Sports Scotland and then after that I went into SFA and then into Scottish Rugby so um, I'm a glutton for punishment working in women's sport. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose like most other people it, it was probably my PE teacher at school that um, I really looked up to, I really respected to, um, I really respected and so from that perspective I would say that my PE teacher was probably my biggest role model in terms of being involved in sport. I was teaching for about 11 years, 12 years okay. um, and then some opportunities came up in school in terms of um, promoted posts and then at the same time um, I saw a, a job advertised working with Sports Scotland and it was for a, a women and girls football coordinator so it was with a national remit. I went for the interview and I came away thinking oh I really have to get this job it sounds really exciting. So I did get the job and I was then employed by Sports Scotland or it was Scottish Sports Council at that point um, but I was based in Glasgow at the Scottish FA so it was really exciting. When this post came up at Scottish Rugby it was similar to what I'd been doing in football and I'd worked in football for 22 years so it had made a really huge impact on the women and girls game and I thought maybe for a last challenge for me in terms of work this might be something that's quite good and then of course I came along for the interview and it, everything went really well. I mean, I'm sure that there'll be lots of highlights by the time I leave Scottish Rugby. I hope that there's been lots of really positive things that have happened. But I mean, I would say that probably my biggest highlight would be from football, um, whereby we started off um, in 1991 with 23 coaches and, you know, we had a handful of players playing the game. And now there's over 8,000 female um, footballers. They've got really successful national teams at all age levels. We created national academies, regional academies. So from that perspective, you know, it was seeing something going from nothing to really growing and flourishing. Well, it's, it's about our women's team qualifying. Actually, the, the, the goal that we did set was 2021, the Women's World Rugby World Cup in 2021. And we've set two goals around that. One is to host the championship because the sort of anecdotal evidence from other sports where you've hosted a women's tournament is that it increases the growth in the game, the standing of the sport in the country gets bigger, there's more commercial investment, more media, so that increased number of players playing etc. So that would be major for us to try and do that and that's the reason why we really want to host. But if we, were, if we didn't get host nation status then it would be to qualify for the 2021. Um, also our women's sevens team to qualify for the Commonwealth Games in 2022. I think rugby is a, a fantastic sport in terms of all of the discipline around rugby and, and I think the, the whole avenue of, of respect as well. I think that even when you look at rugby at the top level there's a, a great respect there in terms of towards each other and towards the match officials so I think that's a real great life lesson for young people. I think aside from all of the benefits in terms of health and your mental well-being, um, you know, rugby gives you um, life skills. So, you know, stuff around teamwork, um, expressing yourself, uh, time management, discipline. You have to be all of these things to be able to, to play rugby and also deal with yeah, your school or your university or work, your family, your friends. So it's a real balancing act. So I think that rugby gives you Participating in rugby gives you the opportunity to kind of hone all of these skills while getting yeah, fit and making friends for life as well. <laughs>